All right, gonna do a quick video exposing the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, and how he was totally illiterate, and how it's actually contrary to how the Bible describes the prophet and how the Bible describes Jesus Christ. So, because they like to claim the Quran actually, you know, confirms the, the, the previous scriptures, well, Jesus Christ was nothing like Muhammad at all. Let me just point that out. And here's actually a, a clip of a Muslim apologist literally outright saying and admitting to the fact and, you know, proudly copying to the fact that their prophet was totally illiterate and he could not read or write. Check this out. And he goes on to say that, that the Quran doesn't have contradictions because it only has one author. That is correct. The only mistake he makes is he says the author is Muhammad, peace be upon him. But that is impossible. I'll tell you why. He couldn't read or write. <laughs> to author a book or to author something, you have to be able to write it. That's the prophet of Islam for you. Somebody who's totally illiterate and can't read or write. And, and they're proud of that fact, apparently, that their Islamic false prophet is not able to read and write. But what does the Bible say? How does the Bible describe Jesus Christ? Well, first of all, uh, he was able to read and write. Let me just point that out. He was able to read and write. He was intelligent, and he actually was, you know, people were marveling at that. Okay, John chapter 7, verse 14, down to verse number 18. So John 7, verse 14 to 18. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught, and the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that spe uh, seeketh his own glory, that se seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness, unrighteousness is in him. So he, like, they're marveling at the fact that, you know, how, just how well he's able to teach doctrine, and, you know, over and over again, you see in scripture, he's rebuking those for not reading and understanding the scriptures, even his enemies, too. Okay, another scripture on the matter. Luke chapter 4, verse 16, down to verse number 22. Luke chapter 4, verse 16, down to verse number 22. Totally goes against the, the type of illiterate mentality of Muhammad, showing that Jesus Christ was nothing like Islam's false prophet. But it says, Luke chapter 4, verse 16, down to verse 22. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah, I think is how you say it. Uh, and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath, anoint, he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day, this, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Uh, and all bear, bear him witness and, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded, out of, which, which proceeded out of his mouth. Sorry, And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? So again, they're marveling at the fact he's just so well at teaching because they're saying, Hey, isn't he that kid that was you know, raised in that carpenter shop? And look how well he's able to teach scripture. You know? And he's fulfilling prophecy right there. Uh, the same can't be said about the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, who was totally illiterate and can't read and write. He couldn't say anything at all. He couldn't. He could, not only could he not say something that well, teach that well, he couldn't teach anything because he couldn't read and write. Instead, he was getting these revelations from this demonic entity uh, that called himself Gabriel, but was really a fallen angel of some sort, because Satan does come and kind of manifest as the angel of light. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse I think it's thirteen to fifteen. So anyway, just showing you the fact that Muhammad was nothing like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was actually intelligent and could teach the scriptures. Meanwhile, the false prophet of Islam couldn't even read and write and was basically being given, uh, was under witchcraft basically and was being given these false revelations from a demonic entity. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.